Hey, in this video, we're going to look at how to disavow toxic links. We're going to be cleaning up those spammy links with SEMrush and Google Search Console. If you don't have SEMrush, you can still follow along. But as you'll see, as we go through SEMrush used with Search Console, is going to make this process a lot easier. Why are we doing this? Well, I just ran a backlink audit for my website at rootandbranchgroup.com. And you can see that over there on the right, that big red, ugly red box. Toxicity score for the site overall looks high. What that means is there's a too high of a concentration of really kind of junky, bad backlinks pointing to Root and Branch Group, and we want to clean that up. Here are the four tools that we're gonna to use to make this happen. One, Google Search Console data. This is where our backlinks are. Those we're using in conjunction with SEMrush. We're going to use this tool here, the backlink audit tool. We're gonna be looking at Google's support article on the disavow links tool. And finally, we're actually going to be using the disavow links tool. And with that, we are going to need to create a text file, which SEMrush will do for us. If you're not using SEMrush again, you can do that on your own. So here's our brief agenda. We've got six steps. One, we're gonna consider the risks. Two, we'll decide if we need to use the tool if we're gonna just trust Google to do it on its own. Then, if we're going forward, which we will be, we'll find our spammy links. Then we'll create our disavow list in a text file, access the disavow tool, and finally upload the text file to the disavow tool, which makes it all happen. So step one, consider the potential risks. When we get ready to upload our disavow file, we're gonna see a message like this. This is an advanced feature and should only be used with caution if used incorrectly. This feature can potentially harm your site's performance in Google search results. That's because we are actually messing with our backlink profile when we disavow links. Links overall are good, right? They help our SEO ranking potential. So if we disavow something that is actually helping us, that would be a net negative for our SEO. We only want to make sure we're disavowing total junk. Step one, check. Step two, decide if you need to use the tool. Here's that support article from Search Console. Google actually says, hey, this is step zero. And Google says, in most cases, it can do a very fine job, thank you very much, deciding which links to trust without any additional guidance from us. So my, most sites will not need to use the tool. We should only disavow backlinks if we have a considerable number of spammy, artificial, or low quality links, and the links have either caused a manual action, that means a penalty from Google, or are likely to cause a manual action on your site. Well, that red high toxicity score from SEMrush, that's enough for me. We're gonna go forward in our case here. Last note here, the disavow links tool does not support domain properties. If you, are have, if you have a domain property, you need to use something that's not a domain property for this. Here's what that means. Here's Search Console here. This is domain level property for rootandbranchgroup.com. We're going to need to use this, the HTTPS version. Well, that brings us to step three, finding our low quality, spammy, toxic links that we want to get rid of. The data source, it's Search Console, but in our case here, we're using it with SEMrush. So at this point, we've already ran a backlink audit report here. You can see our high toxicity score. Yeah, let's get in there. We can see 114 of these toxic links, 209 potentially toxic and 513 that are good. Um, so we're just gonna, for now, get rid of the toxic ones. I've actually already looked at all of these. I'll show you what this looks like here. Do you see how there's this little red uh, do not want sign? I've just gone through every single toxic link with a toxicity score of 60 to 100, so the worst of the worst and just highlighted all of them here. And then I hit this blue button here to move it to the disavow list. I've already done that, which is why we see that the backlink is already in the disavow list. If we wanted to also disavow some of the links, let's say we wanted to disavow some of the potentially toxic links with a toxicity score of 45 to 59, we could check them individually and then hit this button right here to move them to a disavow list. 
this toxicity score, these 59s, these are obviously very, very high, very toxic. And this AS here, this is the authority score. So the links that we really want have a high authority score and a low toxicity score. Those are the ones that are helping us. The fact that these are quite toxic and have a very low authority, I mean, there's almost no SEO benefit accruing to us through these links and potentially this negative. So we're gonna go ahead and take these three and add them to the disavow list. And we were going to move them over there at the domain level instead of the URL level. That means any backlinks showing up from those domains where we want to be removing ourselves from in the eyes of Google. And now we can see that those also have the do not want symbol next to them. Step four, now we need to create our list of spam pages and or domains to disavow and save it as a text file. This is the example Google gives us. We're gonna create our disavow list at the domain level. So a couple things to note. If you have any comments you wanna to write to Google, you can put them in there, just put the pound sign and then right away. Any lines that begin with that will be ignored by Google in terms of any disavowals. And we're gonna use this at the domain level. So the way that domains will be entered is domain colon domain name, all in our disavow list. All right, back to SEMrush, that's done the work for us. It says now your backlinks are in your disavow list. That's great, so we're gonna go up here to the right of audit, hit disavow, and now all of our domains, look, we have 100. So 100 junky domains to get rid of. We're going to export that to a text file. Hit this green button. Look how quickly that happened, that's amazing. Look at that. We've got it right here. There's all our domains. You can say, hi Google, these were exported from the SEMrush backlink tool. Thank you for the help. That's awesome. And then there's our list of all of our spammy, junky domains. We don't have any URLs. You can leave that or just get rid of it. Now, if you haven't gone through this carefully, I would highly recommend that you do that before we save and upload because, again, this is a permanent thing. This is a big deal. I've done that. I feel good about it. So we're going to save it. Save it in our downloads. And we're good to go. All right, on to step five. Now we're gonna access the disavow links tool at search.google.com slash search dash console slash disavow dash links. So grab that URL, I'll put the link in the description as well. And we're gonna see something like this where we can select our search console property where we can upload our disavow links. Let's get over there. All right, here we are on the tool and we are going to select our property. Now remember, this does not work at the domain level. So can't select this one, but we can select this. The last time a disavow link file was uploaded here, it was on September 27th of 2021. We are going to replace our list with our new list. If you want to have access to your old list, you can download anything that you might have disavowed previously just to make sure you have a record of that. You know what, I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna hit download list there. I'm gonna copy those and I'm just gonna add them to our new list so it's all in one place. Okay. Copying those old ones, moving it over to our new list here. We'll just put those down at the bottom. Honestly, some of you might know, do I need to do this or not? I don't think that I do because I think Google by this point has already kind of disavowed them, but let me know if you have a different perspective. This is not gonna hurt us, certainly. Now I'm gonna hit replace. I'm gonna replace the disavow list. Let's go find that one right here. And we're uploading. The disavow list has been submitted. And we can see on our six step list that was 
Step number six, six, uploading our disavow list in the proper format, uploading the disavow list, finding it, and making sure that we are not uploading, trying to upload to the domain level, but to the Search Console property level. You can see how SEMrush in this situation makes the process a lot easier, but it will also work if you're using another SEO tool that's going to help you identify your toxic backlinks. Thanks for watching this. I hope it's helpful. Have a great rest of your day out there.